So you're looking to buy a self-storage facility and you live over here and the self-storage facility is all the way over here. And you're probably thinking, how am I going to make this work? Well, I'm here to tell you exactly how you make that happen because I do this at my eight self-storage facilities. I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks of how to run a self-storage facility remotely from anywhere across the world. I'm going to break it down from you from all the software, all the tech, and even what locks you should be buying. As you could imagine, running any business remotely, you probably need the right systems in place, the right technology, the right software. So we'll start right there with software. The software that you use is gonna help you with online billing, online rentals for the customer, track all your KPIs, your financials, your metrics, and help a little bit with customer service, doing auto reminders, text blasts, email messaging to your customers. There are a lot of different softwares out there. There's so many, and we're trying a couple different ones. Uh, right now, we use Store Edge and Easy Storable Solutions. Those are the two we use the most. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about some other players out there. Storage Commander is one of them. So those software systems allow our customers to book without having a manager be seen. They can literally book online where they can go right there, check out a 10 by 10, see what the cost and rent right there. They'll get the automatic code to their phone. They'll get the code to the door. Everything is seamless. They don't have to meet anybody there. They can book online with not ever talking to anyone. Now we also put signs on our door with QR codes where if nobody is at the door, nobody's is at the office that they can go up there and scan the QR code with their phone and goes right to our website where it will ask them to book online whatever they're looking for as a storage uh, needs for them. Security is a big issue at self-storage facilities. You want to make sure that not only your customer feels like their goods are secure, but also that they are. Imagine sending your mom to go get something from the storage facility at eight o'clock at night. You wanna make sure that they feel safe. And so you wanna make sure you have good security cameras, good access controls, and good lighting all around the facility. These systems can be remotely managed and viewed from anywhere in the United States and probably beyond. Most of the software you use for the customer has coordinating access controls that they provide that connect directly with your gate and sometimes even your cameras as well. We are closing on our biggest facility next month and we're gonna try out some new AI technology with the camera systems and we'll let you know how that works, so stay tuned. So currently at our facilities, they're not very large facilities. So we actually have our boots on the ground, our manager on site handling also the phone calls. So technically they are our remote manager as well as our boots on the ground. For this larger facility we're buying, we are gonna use a call center to handle all the customer service and all the phone calls. So we make sure we don't miss any calls ever. We are gonna be using Copper Storage Management. They have a new call center service that they're offering. So we're gonna be utilizing them for that purpose, as well as doing our online marketing. This obviously is an additional cost to us, but it is much lower cost than having a full-time employee or on a larger facility like this, a full-time employee and a part-time employee. This is significant savings. This savings on your expenses goes right to your bottom line, your net operating income. The higher your net operating income, the higher the value of the property, and obviously the more cash flow you get each and every month. So our remote manager now will be this call center and they're gonna handle any calls that come in. That will be handling any customer service issues, issues getting into the gate, issues getting into their property, into their storage unit, uh, any issues with payments they may have. Maybe their payment got rejected or they don't know how to make a payment for some reason. This call center is gonna handle all those questions seven days a week. The second person on our team is the boots on the ground. This is our maintenance person, our guy who's gonna handle all the repairs, all the overlocks when somebody doesn't pay, the cleaning out of units when one gets empty, going around the facility uh, once, twice a day, just to make sure everything looks clean, uh, operational, uh, no one's moving out, no one's living on the facility. They literally are the boots on the ground checking on the property for us every day. The next person on your team would be your property manager. So this can be a third party manager where they actually handle and hire the boots on the ground and the call center for you. For us, we self-manage. And so for that position, it's essentially me and my asset manager here in my team in Orlando, Florida. 
They will be supervising and managing the remote managers, the call center, as well as the boots on the ground, the maintenance guy, and making sure they're doing all their tasks and roles that they are assigned to do every day. They're also responsible for marketing. They want to make sure that our marketing dollars are actually turning into rentals at our property. Uh, they want to make sure that we're tweaking our marketing and we're making sure we're filling up our property. We have good occupancy as well as good uh, rent growth in our markets. They're also managing the software. So they're making sure that uh, they're doing revenue management, which is increasing the pricing based on the demand in the area and what's available not only in our facility, but at our competition in a three to five mile radius. So they're handling that. They're handling the auditing of the software, making sure everybody is being is being paid. There's no freebies given away or extra discounts we're not aware of. So they just maintain the software and making sure that everything lines up as well as uh, everything lines up with our bookkeeper and their numbers. And from all this, they're putting in new systems and procedures along the way, especially on a new takeover, to make sure everything is streamlined and moves forward easily as we continue to grow this business. As we buy one property, it gets a lot more smoother. We put in systems and processes. We're going to learn things as we grow, and we're going to put those systems and processes into our other properties and our other facilities to make sure we run as smooth as possible and maximize the value. All right. So again, you need those three players on your team, the live remote manager, which can be a call center or just a VA on the phone. Number two, your maintenance guy or your boots on the ground. And number three, your property manager or your asset manager, or it could be you, your remote manager, your call center. That's going to be a couple hundred bucks, like 800, 600, 800 bucks a month. Uh, sometimes they pay, charge you for dials, or if you have a, your own VA, it could be much cheaper. This person's going to answer all the phone calls. They're going to reserve and rent units, conduct that full rental process, provide customer service, take payments, and help with collections. Your boots on the ground, they're going to do the property walkthroughs, the security checks, clean the vacated units, get them ready to be rented again, do the minor repairs that are needed on the property, and when you get them, prepare for the auction. So taking the photos for the auction, setting those up online, and, and everything that's involved with the auction process. And your asset manager or you is going to manage these two individuals, the call center or the VAs, and the manage uh, the boots on the ground. And they're going to work to optimize the storage management software, handle all the marketing, make sure the marketing is going out, make sure the marketing is converting, implement systems and procedures that we do at our other facilities, or find out new ways and better ways as we continue to educate ourselves as well to make sure we maximize these properties. And the last favorite part is revenue management making sure you're maximizing every dollar possible. And those are those responsibilities that you should be outsourcing. You know, um, having an asset manager who handles that property for me allows me to continue to go out and talk to more sellers, potentially buy more deals and raise money. That's what my goal is to focus on raising money and buying assets. And so that way I have a team around me who manages these properties remotely and they do a damn good job. And we make sure these properties do very well for us and we continue to add value not only for ourselves but for our investor partners this day and age technology is ever changing and it is no different in the self-storage industry so if you want to stay up to date and all the systems software technologies to make sure you remain atop the market in your competition make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos here about self storage and about how you can maximize your dollars. And if this sounds like it's too much for you and you much rather just allocate your dollars into an asset like this and just get a high rate of return on your money, we're teaching people every day how to earn higher rates of return on your idle cash. If you're interested in that, go to vaultventures.net slash join and let's have a conversation. Link is also in the description below. Let's chat.